What up, everybody? It's your boy, Coach Landon. Time for another time out. Now, if you've been watching these videos for a while, or if you just know me personally, you know I'm a big fan of KG. So the KG Certified platform, really good content. I love what he's saying. But he said some wild stuff recently, and we got to talk about it. I'm expecting Anthony Davis to be MVP in these next two years or something. Real shit. It's time, bro. It's time. You can't let Joker come in the league and surpass. Nah, nah, That's nah. That's a tough one. That's going to be tough. Man, shit. Anthony Davis can do everything they can do. That's going to be a tough one. Anthony Davis can do everything Joker can do. He can do everything Embiid can do. The fuck are you talking about, dog? I'm expecting him to be MVP, if not this year, definitely next year. Straight up. Okay, now hear me out. Hear me out. Men lie, women lie, numbers don't. Hear me out. Now, if my research is correct, which it usually is, Anthony Davis has one career triple-double. One. And you're going to compare him to two guys who have both averaged a triple-double over a season. One guy's done it multiple times. You're going to compare him to league MVPs when he hasn't won that. That's bold. So, here's my biggest argument. League MVPs, averaging triple-doubles, comparing him to two guys who have year after year after year made their teams better. Anthony Davis isn't the best player on his team. He's not going to be the best player in the league. He's not going to be the league MVP. Anthony Davis can't stay healthy. To my record, I don't think he's played all 82 games in an NBA season since he's gotten drafted. The best ability is availability, and he's not readily available for his team. So how is he going to be the best player on his team while he's still playing with LeBron? How is he going to be the league MVP when he's missing as many games as he's playing in? I just don't know. I don't see it. And Garnett must know something the rest of us don't. I don't see it. But again, everybody's entitled to their opinion. I respect his opinion. I love him as a former player. I think he's got a great platform with the KG Certified podcast. And I'm going to definitely stay tuned, even though I don't agree with 100% of what he says. So thanks for checking out the video. Peace. I'm out. Thanks for the support.